I will be telling you what you're doing for Christmas by getting a stocking from me. Your separate video or what you get from other people. Starting with the first item, this is Doug and Melissa. Doug and Melissa. I don't know if you can really see it very well, but it's Doug and Melissa. Uh, cleaning set. Do it this way. Doug and Melissa cleaning set. I don't know, I can't make it go, but it's the duster, sweeper, mopper, for 10 set, 6 kid size, housekeeping, broom, mop, duster, and organizing stand, and for skills of confidence and ability. You always find your mind, and he's not big enough, so I don't know why it's not showing up very well. But that's what he's getting. Most of you people know what that, is, that looks like. Here's what he's getting in a stocking. He's getting Shimmer and Shine Magic Towel. I let him pick out one magic towel, and he picked this one. He likes Shimmer and Shine. A little bit. He's getting... Oh, this is a stocking. Two Doug and Melissa Wonder Wells. He's getting the Safari and the vehicle. Oh, what a set together. They're five dollars each, but what a set together for nine something on Amazon. So I went ahead and got it. I'm trying to find more stuff that he can take with him on the go so that he doesn't have to have his tablet with him all the time. And then he's got. A fidget, new fidget. It's got the little bumpies and stuff on it. It's like tactile one. He has a regular one and then I saw this one. I thought you might like. And then got some candy in it, some gummies in it, and candy. The bottom. Pull everything out, but that's what I got. I've already got a stocking done. But as I got it, I put it in the stocking that way. You couldn't get to it because I have a gate around my fireplace so you can't get to the fire in the sun and you know, I can just put all the stuff in there and hide it from him and you, and you won't be able to touch it, see it, whatever. So that's the stocking and then we'll start with the bag I'll give him Christmas Eve for him to do stuff or oh, I might give it to Christmas, no I'll give it to Christmas morning for him, Christmas Eve for him to do before I open presents. It's Christmas Eve is um, the time when we're going to be able to have a coloring book. Probably have him color some pages to give to his dad, his stepmom, and his grandmother. And he goes over there on this day. Okay. And I got the joy of giving for him. This is a Christian book. We also got. Merry Christmas, Curious George. It's done in the old style of Margaret and A.J.A. Ray. I thought you might like it. He loves Curious George. Um, he's autistic and has apraxia. Might be global apraxia. I'm not sure. Um, he also what's it oh, has epilepsy, uh, autism, and may have global apraxia. So, but he definitely has apraxia of speech. We will, he's not very good with cardboard, with regular books, so we get him cardboard books for his room. So I thought this one would be cool because he loves Christmas all the time, all year round. And I got him this double feature. I wanted to get him just very, very monkey Christmas, but then they had this double feature that was cheaper than buying just this, that movie. So I got him both. He'll love both, I'm sure. You know, even watch this, not at Christmas time. So this is the bag that he will get for first. And I can do while I organize things, get things going, get him dressed and stuff ready for the day. See his first bag. I got him a little bag. Oh, the bags are cute. They uh, glow in the dark. Alright, okay. this, is, this, is, this is just a cute little bag. Got a tin of cookies in it. She has doggies and kitties on it. He loves these tins to put his toys in, so I thought I'd give him a new one with some cookies, which would be kind of cool. Okay, um, he 
already had this case, but I had to hide it for the inside it because I did not want him to see this. Twenty set markers I got him at Walmart. It's got regular markers, it's got the ultra markers, it's got silly scent markers, it's just it's got a whole bunch of different kinds of markers in here. It's like thirteen I think it's thirteen or fourteen dollars at Walmart for twenty markers. I was like, yes, please sign me up. He's always using like running out of markers. I just replaced his markers and I'm still buying him more markers because he likes markers. Um, he also got a puzzle, a Mickey and the Roller Coaster puzzle. He loves puzzles and he's really good at 20, 24 piece puzzles. He's working on one of the Bugs 24, one of the 24 is where he's really good at. Um, another coloring book. He loves My Little Pony, so I was like, need a new My Little Pony color book. Dollar Tree, great place to shop. So I got the coloring book and the puzzle, Dollar Tree. Got him, got him the, got him the first science book for school because he said he was having trouble with his curriculum and he loved it, so I got him the second one. Cool activities and stickers to put in and the reward at the end, chart rewards at the end and he also has geography ones that I'll probably be getting, but this is the one he's doing now and this is the one that we just got. He's getting for Christmas. And these two I'll probably get after he's done with these three. Um, he's currently doing the Amazing Mazes. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six different levels. He's currently doing the Amazing Mazes. So I went ahead and got him the book, My Book of Mazes of Animals. I highly recommend you start at Maze 1 and work your way up because they get harder as you go. And young kids will like. If they already can do the first set of maze and maze books, they get through it really fast. Like he got through the first one really, really fast. So we're just so it's just really cool. He likes doing mazes and graduating mazes are pretty cool. And he one day I'll be able to do an adult maze book. Um, he he's not good at cutting. I've tried cutting and pasting books. He always focuses more on the pasting part of the book. So I got one that's just cutting. Give it a try and see what happens. And then we'll find a pacing and cutting book later. And he likes to do the... He just finished the My First Book of Coloring. He's nowhere near coloring in the line. But I thought a coloring book would be kind of fun for him to just do. Cause he, he liked doing the first one, so... That's just practicing coloring. The more it would be good. At least... I don't care if he learned to color in the line, but at least learn to... Oh, this book needs me to use a blue and a green. Okay, I'll use blue and a green. Or well, the monkey's blue, so I, uh, let's use blue. Or the monkey's brown, let's use brown. So he learns the color of the animal and it, it makes a difference. So we'll be getting this one. Color my my coloring at the zoo. Um, here we're getting new watercolor paint because he's almost out at watercolor paint. Or oh, they were mixed so much that they're different colors now. And a box of crayons. You're going to finally get the lot of crayons this year for Christmas. So this is, uh, this is his activity bag, an uh, activity bag, just because I thought it would be kind of cool for him to have an activity bag. And some of that stuff will just get filed away. Some of the workbooks will get filed away for later when he finishes the ones he's work currently working on. For the most part, he'll get the most part, which is all stuff he can currently do to work towards doing. Okay, here it is. R2D2 bag. Yeah, May I will not press it because it'll come running. Make the R2D2 sound. And here we got some books. Uh -huh. We got him the United States Beginner's Atlas from National Geographic Kids. It talks about each state and shows the map of the United States from the beginning. It's a pretty cool book. Um, I got it because he got a magnetic. USA puzzle for, for his birthday, and I thought this would help him 
learn more about each date and where they are and stuff because he's still in trouble with them. He wants me to sit next to him and point out where they each date is on the box as we do it. But Ross is getting kind of torn up, so I thought maybe this might help. Like right, here, here's the map. I'll probably see it open this page a lot. And Oh, these are kind of cool. Oh, this way. This page a lot. Probably open this page a lot. And once he's mastered the names of the states, we'll work on the state caps. Hold up. These two I got from the Dollar Tree. Alice in Wonderland and Chicken Little. I got from the Dollar Tree. They were just simple little dollar books. I just thought he'd like reading these in a little simple format before he got the big book. This, is, this Chicken Little is just cute. And I just wanted a smaller book to introduce. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, these like five minute stories. Uh, he's, we're currently reading through the Berenstain Bears Storybook Bible. He's had that for a while, we're just making sure that we read all the stories. Because when he, when he was little, he liked to skip around and read his favorite ones over and over again. So we're just currently reading through it. And once we're done with it, we are going to start with the Action Storybook Bible. I debated whether getting him the storybook version of the Action Bible or the actual Action Bible. My friend pointed out the language and it's probably a little bit easier for him to understand than this one. I thought he might want a more grown up version. It's also got a Well God Loves You section and it's got a Hall of Fame index in it. It's just really cool and the graphics are really cool. I thought maybe you might want a more updated version for a little bit older kids because he's six now and he's had that story but right when he was, I think he was two or one when he got it. So I just thought you might want a more updated version. And we are a Christian family, but our homeschool is secular. We just do a story book. Uh, we, we do do story time in with school, but it's separate from all of our schools. And we got him two of the level readers from Scholastic. This is level one, the pumpkin content. I got this one after Halloween when it was only three dollars, and then I got him this one. And they did the uh, buy certain products and food, get a free book. And I got Cinderella in the City because he loves uh, fairy tales, and I got a new modern version of the fairy tale. It'd be kind of cool. And this one is a level two reader, so it's for it's uh, it's, it's applied to first second graders, but it's a reading level for a second grader. Um, this is a apply to a preschool, pre-K to level one, pre-K to grade one, and it's a grade one reader. Um, the difference between the two books. So it's pretty cool. My son loves it when I read him the level readers. He cannot read yet, but he likes me to read the level readers because he knows I can read five of these versus one big book. And then I got some chapter books because we're currently currently wanting me to read him more chapter. We were reading more chapter books. And these are books that we read throughout the day. But chapter books are like bedtime and during school we read chapter books. So we we got the Puppy Academy. And it's pretty cool. It's about a puppy that tries to be a police dog but fails the exam. But shows when the uh, sausage thief strikes. Got the sausage thief and sausage strikes. He proves his worth. And there's several books in the series, so see. So I got the first one to see if you like it. I got the magic bone. Be careful what you sniff. He bites the magic bone and it takes him on adventures to learn about places. And there's lots in the series, so I got the first one to see if you like it because he loves history books. We have read Boxcar Children number one, and I got two for Christmas. I highly recommend Boxcar Children for anybody in like, um, six and up, because Emma seems to really, really like it. Um, uh, what? Flat Stanley, Worldwide Adventure, book 15. We have the other 14 books in the series, so we've got the next book in the series to add. And we also have the original Flat Stanley books, too. I recommend Flat Stanley. We've been reading Dr. Kitty Cat. We're in book 7. We have two more books to go before we're out of books, but then book 10 came out. I have to get it, of course. I recommend it. Each book has a theme themed around an animal that needs help. Like this one is Bumble's the Hedgehog. And he's very color coordinated, so everything will be that color. 
and you get the picture from Shutterstock. And this is a second to third grade grade applied. It's third grade level, but my kindergartner loves it. I know what was it. Are you sure? But my kindergartner loves this book. So I highly recommend it. But anyway, kindergarten and up. He really likes it. It's great. And he, he squeals every time I say, let's go eat Dr. Kitty Cat. So these are all so I highly recommend getting books for Christmas. Because Toys they'll play with, but eventually they'll stop playing with you. But books, they'll remember reading them with you. They remember fond memories of the books, and they can also share the fond memories of the books with their their kids when they get older. So I highly recommend it because any books that I buy my son to, son this year in his lifetime will be used with his kids, or or if he doesn't have kids, we can donate them to some place that has kids, or have friends that have kids and they can bring the kids over to these books. I highly recommend it. And last but not least, the box of Vampirina. Everything in here is Vampirina! Starting with the most expensive Vampirina thing in here. 10 piece. 10 piece. Fangatastic Friends. And these glow in the dark. He wanted it. This is what he picked. There are two different versions, and he picked this one. Put the other one on his wish list in case he made God for him, but this is the one he wants. Has Jamal, has Boris, Oksana, Vampirina, Case of the Baddies, Noisy, Nosy, Backpack, Vampirina, Whoopi, Demi, Gregoria, Bridget, Alanya. And then this is from the dollar store. He saw it and just had to have it, which is fine with me. He can do, he can color it and we can give it to somebody who likes Vampirina. The gift or something. Okay, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's six feet color fun. Comes with crayons. It's Vampirina. It's a play, play pack. Comes with four crayons, sticker sheets, and coloring book. Vampirina. It's grab and go. We'll probably give it to him for Christmas, but save it for when we're in the car going somewhere or going to a restaurant to eat with his grandmother. This I got at Walmart when it was three dollars on staff for three dollars after Halloween. The stickers, it's a little storybook. For Halloween, Vampirina. Yeah, I got this from the Dollar Tree. A Vampirina puzzle in a tin. Good for on the go too. He got another Vampirina puzzle that we got from the Dollar Tree that he got when he lost his first tooth. Um, this has got the crayons in it and a little coloring pad with, with the pictures. Another on the go thing that we'll probably get for Christmas but save when we go on the go. Like a restaurant or something. Uh, the purple outfit is good at, if you watch the purple outfit, she's good at t making to-go boxes and stuff like this. And last, but not least, the last gift, four dollars, five dollars, maybe four, at Walmart for a, one of those, those, uh, hidden figurines in a, a go, uh, the surprise bags, surprise things. He wanted one, we had a little surprise van bring a figure. The first time he's ever wanted one on his own, we collected trolls and did, have collected some of these before in the past, but it's more been like, I wanted it, not he wanted it, but this he definitely wanted, so I got it for him. This is everything he's getting for Christmas from me. There'll be another video showing what anybody else gets him for Christmas. Have a great day. Bye.